What's up Android fans? It's Eric for mobile and today guys I got a video for you on how to flash and install a custom ROM on the LG G3. With all the ROMs coming out recently for the phone I have gotten a few requests to do this video so let's jump right into it. So if you want to download a custom ROM and install it on your device. There are a couple prerequisites you're going to need. Firstly, you gotta download the ROM and the applicable Google apps if uh, that need be. Um, you can do that for uh, by finding the files on the XDA developers website. Today I'm going to be specifically installing Cyanogen Mod 11 onto the device. So um, I'll leave links to that specific ROM in the description of the video. But once you have those um, files downloaded you're going to need an app from the play store called es file explorer really you could use any file explorer but this one's free and uh, it's a really really uh, good app so i use es file explorer and the reason you're going to need this is because when you download a rom uh, it's going to put it in a download folder on your phone so there's the cyanogen mod 11 uh, zip file right there and you also need to download the google apps because this is stock android the Google Apps um, aren't included with the zip file. You need to download them separately. So what you want to do is go into your download file and long press on these two and copy them. And you want to go out to the root of your um, phone's memory and paste it, not into a folder, but paste those two files right into the root of your system's um, memory. It's just going to be easier to find the files that way later when we're flashing them onto the phone. Now I also want to mention that this process um, can only be done if you are rooted and have a custom recovery installed. So assuming you've already done those two things, um, then you can move forward with the installation of the ROM. So once they're both um, copied down there on the root of your phone, you can go ahead and reboot your phone. I just use an app because it's easy called Root Manager. Reboot into recovery and yes. The custom recovery that I have is the Team Win Recovery Project. I think that's what 90% of people are using these days. So um, this will be how to flash the ROM through that recovery. And it's pretty much similar for whatever there is out there. So here we are booted into our custom recovery. The first thing you wanna do is do a wipe of the system. Now, I come in here into advanced wipe and it gives you all the options for everything that can be wiped. When you're coming from, say, the stock LG ROM and you are flashing to stock Android or AOSP, you need to not only flash the Dalvik cache and the regular cache, but you also need to um, wipe the system and the data. Never wipe your internal storage. Um, as you can see there, I don't have it checked. I also don't um, wipe my external SD card. All you need to wipe is the two caches, the system and the data. So you go ahead and slide to wipe those back I always just do it two times out of habit just to make sure I've got everything. Um, it's just kind of an OCD thing I do. Anyway, once you got that done, um, you're going to want to go into here to install. And this is where, um, these are all the files on your phone. This is where we copied those two files out of the folder and put them right on the root of your memory. So if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, it's going to have those two zip files that you downloaded at the very bottom. Now you're going to always want to select the ROM first, which is in this case the Cyanogen Mod 11. And then you can click on this one, add more zips. Click on that one and you can then do the Google Apps. Click on that and you're ready to flash the ROM. So you just slide to confirm flash. This typically goes by pretty quick for these stock Android ROMs because they're not very big files. Um, but it will take a, you know upwards of a couple minutes sometimes to flash the files completely. So I'll come back when they're done. Okay, so we are done. That took all of about 30 seconds. So when the ROM and the Google Apps are done flashing, it'll bring you to this um, screen here where it says success. What you're gonna wanna do once you're done flashing the ROM is click wipe, cache, and Dalvik. You're gonna wanna do this one more time. Like I always say, I do it a couple times just to make sure I've got everything. Once that's done, you can click this button here, reboot system. This will reboot your device, and if everything went according to plan, which it should have, you'll be booting up into your new custom ROM. It'll give you the LG splash screen like it's doing here, and then after this, it should come up with the Cyanogen Mod screen, which is here. So, once this is up, um, it can get to this point and hang up for a couple minutes. Sometimes with ROMs, it can take a little while for all of the software to settle in and be... Um, 
you know, carried out properly. So don't freak out if it stays on this screen for a while. That can happen. It's just doing its thing. Don't worry about it. But once this is done booting, then you will be in your new ROM. And that is how to flash a custom ROM and Google Apps on the LG G3. It is really, really simple. I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Um, I really get a kick of how many people have come in and watched these videos and uh, I really like helping you guys out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be posting videos on all the new ROMs that come out, um, all the updates, so keep it locked here and I'll see you guys on the next one.